Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, visual artist and creative director Ruben Masitela has announced his very first exhibition titled Pieces of Me. This body of work will showcase the artist's taking on a personal journey evoked with deep emotions through his artwork. Now, to share more on the work and inspiration behind each piece, we're joined by the artist himself. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live, Ruben. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much. I mean, what does it mean? Uh, your first exhibition, it's a big deal for any artist. Yes. Um, so it is a big deal to me. And the significance of Pieces of Me represents pieces that are created and um, that are created from the heart and evoked with deep emotions. And we as artists spend so much time with our work and we spend uh, a special bond with our work. And that is where the term pieces of me comes from. Um, and it's always been so hard for me to sell my pieces because it's almost as if I'm giving a piece of me away to um, people that love my art. So that's why, what, that's what it means, um, pieces of me. Mm. Um, why do you say it's been hard to sell your pieces? Um, because I spent so much time with my um, with my work, um, there's a special bond that's created, and um, it carries an energy, um, emotions, and it also comes from um, other people's eyes and um, an inspiration from them and what they go through. So that is why it's so hard to um, let go of these pieces because. They're just so special to me. Mm -hmm. Now, your drawing are made of uh, charcoal and pastels. Tell us a little bit about that. So um, charcoal is a, is a medium that I'm very well aware of. Mm. And I just love the contrast and the shadows that it gives me. And then pastels are a new medium that I've been exploring. And I feel that they really define me and my character. Um, the vividness and um, the colors that pop. Um, also, just um, my followers love it and it brings so much happiness to my work. And, you know, um, previous conversations with um, William Kentridge, he's also another one that uh, draws in charcoal. Uh, David Golwani was also a very big fan of charcoal. What is it about this medium that speaks to uh, the artist that you are? I'm not quite sure um, what it is about charcoal, mm. but to me it was just second nature that um, I start the medium and um, I don't know, I, I guess it's it's something that comes from the earth. I mean, charcoal comes from the earth. I, see, I think that's why artists connect to it um, so well. Mm. Uh, yeah. All right, this being your first solo uh, exhibition, talk to us about putting it together and what that entailed. Um, it was very challenging um, from a marketing perspective because it was a solo and solo in every word um, mm. exhibition. Um, I only had the help from um, my family and friends and I'm so grateful to them. Shout out to them, I love them very much. Um, otherwise, it, it, just, it was just me using my creativity to put this together and finding the perfect ve venue, which is Clico Boutique Hotel. Um, that just connected to my artwork and the vividness and it was just so perfect um, that the way it just blended with my work. Mm. Now, I read somewhere that as a teenager, the only way to express yourself was through pen and paper and that was therapeutic for you. Is that still the case? Yes, it's still very much therapeutic. Um, it was a way of ex expressing myself and just escape escaping from um, things I was going through as a child. Uh, and um, say if I had to get into an argument with my mother mm. or deal with um, social issues um, as a teenager, I'll just quickly go to the drawing pen, um, drawing pad, and just express myself through a doodle or a little graffiti piece. And yeah, that's where it started. All right, now please share with uh, some of us the, where your artwork is currently showing. So my car, my artwork will be on my website um, live tomorrow morning on rubenmasitela.com. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, uh, people can just follow me on my um, Instagram handle and through other social media platforms. Uh, but one day, hopefully, I'll have a gallery. Mm.
Um, speak to us about, you know, you spoke about how everything has been solo. You know, it's your first solo exhibition. You've had to do a lot of things for yourself, including curating it. What lessons have come with this part of your artist's journey? Um, the lessons would be on a marketing perspective mm -hmm. and um, being mindful and more thoughtful on the way I curate my art. Because mm. um, I had to play different hats um, from the, the choice of venue, the choice of my work. I mean, this felt like a big piece on its own and my pieces were um, smaller intricate pieces to this big painting, um, which is my solo exhibition. Mm -hmm. And at what point do you then decide, you know, after this process, how long do you think it will take you to decide, you know what, actually maybe this is the way to go the um, a virtual route where your art is um, exhibited on your website? Um, the future is digital. I mean, look at us right now. We yeah. are connecting via um, the internet. And first thing that people do in the morning is that they take out their phones and they're here. Mm. Uh, and with NFT art, um, that's the future. And that's a platform that I'm going to explore next, um, selling my work online and um, where people can actually have a digital copy and many more. I think there is so much um, to the internet and we are very fortunate to be living in this digital age or era. What are you most excited about uh, when it comes to pieces of me? Um, just telling my, my story and um, like one of the my favorite stories to tell is this piece called Facets of Me, mm. which is inspired by my cousin. She's well firstly, um, it's it's a part of a series that's called Color of Me, where I'm celebrating um, people of color and people of different tones, and it comes with self-acceptance, um, sexual self-actualizations, and many more. So it's inspired by my cousin Mamello, and um, she's a dark-skinned, beautiful girl. And on social media, she blows up her photos and tries to be lighter in complexion. Mm. And she doesn't realize how beautiful she is. And she should celebrate every facet of herself. Every layer of herself is beautiful. I believe you have a, um, a background in graphic designing. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Um, so I studied um, graphic design at the Central University of Technology. And... I was the first in my family to study that. It was this is something very new, and my mother didn't understand it at first. And um, yeah, it's been an interesting journey. Um, digital is the way to go, and I was very fortunate to study graphic design, and it's a growing um, field and very exciting. All right. I want to talk about this, uh, the the work that we're currently that's on on our screens at the moment. Tell us a little bit about that. So the current one right now was, um, was I think I posted this on Women's Day. It was mm -hmm. a Women's Day post where I was just showing love to all beautiful women, all women of colors. That's why I played with different colors and um, lines just to um, celebrate all South African women of different color. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to bring in, there's a, there's a black and white one that I'm hoping my colleagues will show you. That's the, the most interesting one that I saw out of uh, your body of work. It's a black and white one and almost on a black background. Tell us a little bit about that one. Um, this one in particular. Um, underwater. Yes. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was an emotion that I was going through um, last year through the pandemic and it felt like I was drowning and I was underwater mm. and this is me coming out of water and my awakening and just pushing through um, from the darkness to the light. All right, Ruben, incredible work. Thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with your exhibition, Pieces of Me. That's his first solo exhibition. That's what it's called. Uh, Ruben Masitela on his first solo exhibition.